Yeah, basically, identity is really confusing. So how do you really choose from amongst the many identities that you know that are around you and believe it to be true to you? But maybe you are everything that is around you. Maybe you're just the sum of all these identities. Then how do you know that the one that you pick is truly yours when it could be other people's and you can pick because... You have the choice to, to not be one thing. You can be a mixture of things because basically nothing is really defined. It's all It's all basically in your head. It's all what you think is and what people think. It's not tangible. So, of course, it's going to be from something or someone or an effect of something or a reaction of someone. It can't come from nothing. People always want to be who they can't be. It's, I think that's like the nature. Like They always want to be someone else that they can't be at this moment. The desire for something that they don't have. And that doesn't necessarily have to be something bad. You are exposed to uh, the society and the people around you and you eventually borrow and get influenced by the environment and then so you change based on that so how can you define at the moment when you're being all influenced by everyone and the environment you're in that you know whatever your identity is how how would you define that every every place every part of your life you live a role right as a student you play the role of a student and i mean these different roles you play in life these are who you are, and you're constantly changing them. They, they, they still, parts of them are who you are, you know? You could find fragments of yourself in, in those roles. I think identity is more dynamic. It's not, it's not something I can just write down on a paper. It's not a definition. I cannot identify who I am. Because what I write today can change tomorrow. Not even tomorrow. Within the next 60 minutes, it will not be the same. Given this book, if it had 100 more pages, the way it would have evolved, it would have been completely different. And I wouldn't know where it would go because I don't know what I will think tomorrow and I don't know who I am tomorrow. I am affected by everything. What happens tomorrow could change a lot of things in the book. I, it could change a lot of things in me, basically. So I think we come to a point of peace when we decide that Identity will not be the same, not today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but we live with the fact that it changes all the time. You know, accept changes all the time, otherwise you wouldn't be able to. It becomes something uh, tangible, something you believe it to be true, and eventually the thought of identity will not become identity anymore. It becomes sort of like an ideal, something or someone you had always wanted to be, or someone you had never wanted to be. You're never satisfied with who you are. We all greet for perfection when our imperfect selves is not accurate in itself. It is only imperfect because you always want something or someone else you're not. Well, because when you reach what you want, well, you know, it's there. It's People, again what you don't want. Yeah. You yeah. always want, uh, you can't ever be satisfied with uh, who you are because you want to, because, because you everything know. changes you. It's not yeah, defined. Because that's, that's okay. why life is not, that's why, I mean, th that's why you live. Yeah, to become because a better one. If you have everything and everything's like in front of you, then why should you do that? It's not about things. It's about being a better you. Maybe not fame or glory or money or dissatisfaction with what you're doing in your life. If you're satisfied, then it's done. You're finished. You not can't go. More. No, I mean, you can become more, but it becomes more of an inner peace. Like, like accepting the change. It will be the point where, yes, I change every day, every moment, and I live with it. It's fine. What I think identity is just uh, the way that you think, the way that you feel. You are who you think you are.